All right, so Larry, you've got your 3000 watt grow watt and four deep cycle 100 amp hour batteries. Yep, and they're, uh, they're set up um, in, uh, with 24 volts. And I've got the, right now the solar is coming in. Right now I've got four panels coming in from the roof. Uh, the, the four panels on, eventually going to have the other four panels hooked up, but right now I just have four. And they're coming in here uh, they're tied together in uh, series, and they're coming in here. And you can see the two, li the two lines in from up there. They're coming in uh, right now. I have them up in a um, a breaker. It's a 50 amp breaker, but obviously the 50 amp breaker is a little, little much. So we're going to be um, um, toning it down to the 20 amp breakers at some point. Uh, I have not run it over the surge protector yet, but right now they're just going into the breaker, uh, going into the grow watt. And then I've got my positive negative lead of the battery going in uh, for the or go, uh, for the battery going into the unit. I have a disconnect here so I can disconnect the batteries if I need to. Um, and then I got my solar going in. Uh, still got some more work to do. I've got my ground uh, running in. I got a bigger gauge wire, uh, ground and wire that uh, I got my ground and pole in the ground outside. Uh, but I'm going to be upgrading the. Um, the the grounding wire to a lot thicker grade. I think I got it over here. But this is what I got now with the ground. Um, we upgrading that. And then I also have, uh, right now, I just have a, a extension cord going into the house uh, for my grid power. It's coming in and it's going into the output uh, or the input for the 110. And then my output of a 110 here is going up and it's going across, going into a breaker box that's supplying all of the power uh, for this particular building. Uh, right now, the only thing I've got um, operating in this building is I've had some batteries uh, that, are, that I'm charging up here. These are uh, for my power tools and I've got those charging. I have the ceiling fan and light uh, going right now. I have a, a little box fan here as well uh, for the, the, the power. That's the only thing operating in this whole building. But this, this is doing it all right now off of the, the grid. Yeah. And your your Romex is coming over here and yes. uh, this comes into the top of this breaker box and is powering all that and yep. feeding these circuits. Yeah, and I, I didn't jump the um, 110 um, across so I got every other block uh, available and I just put a tape over it right now but I'm uh, eventually going to either jump it or fall so I have every leg of it, both legs on Yeah, that's a good point. A lot of people don't understand when you're bringing in 110 like this box is putting out, you're only powering one side yes. of your box. Yeah, only one side. And you can put the jumper across. Uh, I just didn't dong on me until I run it in. I'm like, okay, I'm just using every other one. And I didn't think about the jumper, uh, so I'm gonna go back later and put the yeah. jumper in. But you know, for now, I do have the um, 110 breakers in, um, and then I have a uh, tape over the one so they don't have an exposed uh, box. Yeah, stick a finger in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. uh, uh, but cool. it's, it's set up uh, right now. It's been working just, just great, as you can see. Uh, I think. Uh, uh, let's see the output: 120 volts. Um, I can't read too good, so that's 59.9 uh, uh, input a, from my solar that's panel. A, that's the hertz, uh, uh, the yep. uh, frequency. Uh, so you're volts. bringing in 60 volts on the panels and outputting mm -hmm. 120 volts AC. I'm not using any battery now because obviously off of solar. Uh, input is 47 watts, output still uh, 120. Your batteries are just below 26 volts. Yep. Which is pretty good for your 24 volt yep. bank. And uh, I think I am a third because all the stuff that's on right now, I get 38. Three. Three. Point, point, yeah. Percent. Three point, yeah. 3.8 percent of my uh, total consumption. capacity. Yep. Right now. I did have a, a portable refrigerator or portable air conditioner in here. And it powered in the problem. Cool. Yeah, and it was actually working great. I just uh, didn't need it because um, I'm not out here all the time. And I do have my uh, the Wi-Fi. 
Wi-Fi hooked up, uh, got it in the window so that I can you know, get it into the house. And so these batteries, you've got four batteries, and just so folks can see how the batteries are wired, you've got this bank has got a jumper over there, that bank has got a jumper over there, so this is two batteries, two 12 volt batteries are making a 24 volt battery, and those two are also making a 24 volt battery, and then they are paralleled together with this line here and the uh, the negative that's over there. Yes. And feeding up into the bottom of this box, there's a breaker that uh, can disconnect the batteries. Um, and it's good to have a breaker on the batteries as well as a breaker on the solar input. So if you disconnect both of those, you can just you know, all of these wires will be safe on the top. So, and then so this is the um, this is your input. Uh, or no, this is your output to your house, right? Uh, this is the input 110 input grid power. Right. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. Coming from the house, that's your input. Yeah. And he's got the a Romex socket. Is the output. And yeah, I'm sorry, I should have known that. Yeah, that, the Romex is going up there to your box. And so that's output. This is the AC input. Got a USB port. And then these two lines here are the battery. And then these two are the solar input. So these boxes are actually really easy to set up. It is very easy to set up. Uh, the only, I mean, it's a mess right now. I don't like the way the wires are set up. Uh, it was because I first time ever doing it. You know, I was very nervous about every bit of it. So <laughs> uh, hooking the batteries up, uh, getting ready to take a lead and go to a battery. It's like, <laughs> and, then, and then make sure nothing sparks and then you get all set up and you're like, okay, now I'm going to come over here and cut this switch. So it's like, all right, I'm going to start out the door first. So I'm outside the door, reach around. And as long as like, make no, smoke, no, no smoke, no smoke. Uh, I said, okay, I must have done something right. Um, and uh, so I don't like the wire, the setups right now. I, got, I don't like wires crossing over wires, USBs over power. Uh, I don't really like that. So I'm going to look at, I'm relocating this to another wall the back side and by doing that I'm hopefully going to be able to kind of have everything straight down and then run off in a way that is nothing's going to cross anything because I, I don't I, to me just trying to get it set up the first time make sure it works uh, it was like great I did it and then it's still there and it's still working it's been working now for six months seven mm -hmm. months uh, no problem whatsoever um, I just don't have didn't want to go back and redo it and mess it all up again so cool Awesome. Well, thank you, Larry, for showing us your 3,000-watt grill watt setup. Yeah, thank you.